Breaking news. I am vindicated. Fire she mock Nigerians saying, Water don't pass Gary after Kaduna trains attack. Hello, my wonderful people. You know, in 2015, when some people spoke and says, Nigerians, be wary of this man called Buhario is a deceit. Oh. You are walking on dangerous grounds with this man. This man, he has a history. As he is, so he will be. Oh. There is nothing that will change about him. And that is a serious lesson for everyone and anyone who says they want to occupy any position. Just look at the opportunity they've had in office. Whatever they did then is exactly what they are going to do again. Please don't expect anything different. Don't expect some miracle. Okay, they're not going to shake some magic wand and things are just going to fall in place. Don't get it twisted. It's not going to happen. It's who they are that will reflect again. And so fire me is saying to Nigerians, I've been vindicated. When I told you guys then, it's as though my mouth was smelling. Nobody listened. Let's get all the details. I am vindicated. Fire me mock Nigerians saying, what I don't pass Gary after Kaduna train attack. A former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshe, has again mocked Nigerians over the insecurity that has spread across the country, especially the northwest region. Within the last 72 hours, there have been several attacks in Kaduna and its neighboring states. Recall that gunmen bump the Abuja Kaduna train within. Kateri and Regeni Aziz on Monday night, leaving thousands of passengers death in the attack. Many passengers were said to have been initially kidnapped, including Zamfara State former Deputy Governor Malam Ibrahim during the deadly attack. The terrorists shot many passengers dead as on a certain number of passengers also sustained various degree of injury as a result of the gun shirts. Just yesterday night, armed men stunned Kafi Gary Lucas Zaria Kaduna kidnapped a custom officer Gumba. Gumba, Tariki, and nine others. Speaking in Kaduna on Thursday, a resident in the community, Halaji Shewu Husman, said of a sudden he heard sporadic shooting and had to lie down in the mosque where he went to pray. According to him, the bandit came around 9 p.m. We are shooting indiscriminately to scare people away. This is the second time bandits will invade cafe, low cost, and adopt people. There are also reports of terrorist attack on Wednesday at the Kabuwa Aziz of Abuja. All this put together, Fayoshi said he has been vindicated, reminding Nigerians how he warned them against Muhammad Buhari in build up to 2015. What has happened now you can see for yourself the prediction have come to pass and nigerians are asking where did we go wrong believing that this man was the messiah who could possibly bring nigeria to a change and savour the situation of the country sadly this is one of the worst administration we've ever had with pain and suffering nigerians going through untold you know pain nigerians going through you know i mean whatever is happening now if you look at it you will feel for the country yes lives are being destroyed people are being killed and what have you and guess what buhari cannot be bothered up until now as we speak he has not addressed the nation and subsequently we've not heard from Garu Bashe or Femi Adishino who would tell Nigerians that they are very privileged to have Buhari and should stop you know talking about what is not working and focus on what Buhari has done now if you say the Bu Buhari has done the real by borrowing and indebting the nation what has he look at what he has done he's committed more death than you can ever imagine and yet everybody expects nigerians to be quiet and celebrate in a celebratory mood jumping about you know because they've never seen a man called buhari and they are very privileged to see a man called buhari listen my people the deceit and the lies okay and the oppression they keep putting at us clearly shows to us that these persons have no iota of care in the world you know the likes of femi adesino and garuba shewu are only only carrying out what you call their duty that's what they do 
They were paid to do this job, okay? They were paid to make Buhari look good. No matter what he does, they are paid to say, make him look good and, you know, uh, continue to tell Nigerians he's doing well, despite the fact that the nation is caving in and things are going from bad to worse. How best can you describe what is happening? When is for them to go to Imo State, go to the East and, you know, uh, uh, apprehend unarmed people because they simply said, we are not happy with the current administration negligence and neglect of the people of the South is they say kill them all, call them terrorists, do this, do that. But when it's for them to go to those regions, by the way, if in case you're not aware, they've told Nigerian government has told uh, you know the soldiers and the rest not to engage. Don't engage them. It was one of the soldiers also in a leaked video that said we are just deceiving ourselves. We are basically lying to ourselves. And he told Nigerians, he said, see, your government do not want this to end. And he asked the question, he said, how many are they? Do you know what the Nigerian army is made up of? That Nigerian army cannot get rid of these people? He said, that is to, he said it's a food for thought for you to really think about it. That they were trained. When they are going to even, you know, for instance, apprehend these people, they were trained and they were told that don't, 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 uh, don't uh, aim at them and all that. Just shoot to scare the people. That's what they told them. That's what, they, that's what they've been informed. Don't do this, don't do that so that um, you don't hurt them. Uh, just do it to scare the people. And uh, you scare them today, they will strategize and come back and be, you know, more, more strengthened, more energized to come and commit more evil. They've declared them, okay, you say because of Amnesty International, the world will say you are engaging. Excuse me, they've been declared terrorists and that's what, that's a go ahead for them to be dealt with. Yet Nigerian government will protect them and shield them and tell you that um, I don't know what they are aiming for. But they go to the east, you know, and disarm the people and make them look like they are criminals and call them what name, whatever they want to call them, you know, and dislodge the people and tell Nigerians that they are bad people, you know, creating a false sense that is not there. And yet the man called Buhari walks free. He practically walks free. And everybody, you know, people who should speak for Nigerians are not. Everybody just watches on. And pretend that this man is doing well when you and I know that this man is an agent failure. He has not only failed the country, he has failed in every ramification and description called a nation. And everybody is watching. Nobody is particularly speaking. No words are coming out in that regard, in that front to say, Buhari, what is going on? Explain to us. The national, uh, the, the speakers, uh, the House of Representatives called on Buhari to come and explain why increase in, in, you know, insecurity has increased and they're not shut him down. How dare you call Buhari? Here we are today. I hope they are enjoying, you know, the, the dividends of their democracy and why they want, continuously want Buhari in office. Why this man is destroying more lives, they still want him in office. So leave us more comments. God bless you. Bye for now.